Okay, the market is nuts right now in Calgary, and a lot of people are struggling not only to find a home, but when they do, they get themselves in multiple offers because there's piles of people looking at the same houses. In fact, I was commenting to a client last night as we were going through the umpteenth house that we've seen that we're seeing the same people looking at the same house that they're looking at every single time. And you are going to more than likely get yourself into multiple offers in this market. So how do you stop losing those multiple offers and actually win the next one? We've got some tips for you. Hi, I'm Ken from the Ken Regal Group. Now, whenever we get into multiple offers with our clients, there's a few things that we advise them on. And the first thing we advise anybody on is be creative with how you've structured your offer. The first thing is, instead of putting a price on your offer that may be a detractor or a limiting factor that a seller is going to not look at your offer, put an escalation clause on your offer. Now, these are something that some realtors like, some realtors don't, some sellers like, some realtors sellers don't. I don't know why they don't like them because they can get a seller more money. And it also puts the buyer in a position of not way overpaying over that next highest offer. So what an escalation clause is, you say you'll pay X amount of dollars over the next highest offer. We've got some tricks in our bag that help us write those clauses a little bit more detailed so that our clients don't overpay. That's something we could talk to you about if you were interested in. So that's one way. Be creative with how you structured your offer, put in an escalation clause instead of a dollar figure. The second thing is we're seeing conditions go by the wayside. More people are losing homes because they have conditions on their offer versus not having conditions on their offer. Now, I would never advise anybody that's putting a mortgage on a house to not have a financing condition or to not do a property inspection. I can't advise you to do that. I wouldn't want to do it myself. However, you're going to have to weigh out the risks of losing in multiple offers. If you're losing in your multiple offers all the time because of conditions and everybody else is waiving their conditions, you're going to have to talk to your realtor about some strategies to protect yourself while removing those conditions if you want to get into a home in this market. That is the reality of it. I know it's not best practice, but if you want to win, you got to find creative ways to get around that. Another thing we advise people on is bigger deposits in multiple offers because you're going to be close. You know, if you've got five offers, and that, that seems to be the number right now that we're up against, always five offers, five, six offers on anything. If your offer is similar to another offer, what's going to put you over the top? Well, a bigger deposit could do that. So put as much of a deposit down as you possibly can that's comfortable for you. That can make the difference between you winning and losing if you've got an offer that's very similar to another offer. Now, one thing we also advise our people to do, or another thing we advise our people to do, is write letters, especially if you're a family with young kids and pets and all that stuff. Write a nice cover letter to the seller, okay? Put your picture in it, a picture of your family. Describe where you're from, why you want to buy that house, all of those things. Great, you've written your letter. A lot of people write letters, but what a lot of people don't do is their realtors don't make it part of the contract. They just send the offer over to the listing agent, say, I've got a cover letter for you, and then they send that as a separate file. We don't actually do that. We write right into the offer that that letter is an addendum to the contract, and we actually make the seller initial that they've read it and seen it. Okay, that's the difference. You can send a, a cover letter. Who knows if that realtor is going to present it? But if you make it part of the offer, the seller has to look at it, read it, and initial it. You got a better chance that your offer will be accepted because you've tugged at their heartstrings a little bit. So these are just a few tactics that we use when we get into multiple offers that we advise our clients on. If you want to talk more about other ways that we help people win multiple offers all the time, we're always more than happy to chat with you. All you have to do is DM me and we can have a quick conversation.